everybody. Welcome back to another episode of the Cool Kids Sleeping Right Now and the Lame Dad Going Solo. And I'm back here with a on-the-spot request for some more Symphony X. So, and it looks like I'm going to get a two-in-one uh, song here. He was looking for Set the World on Fire. I'm only seeing live performances for it or two other options and i'm kind of scared to go for the other two options but i want to hear a studio version the other two options is one directly off their own youtube page and their label has it on their uh, page as well so i can do one or the other from those two pages but there is a 90 percent chance that this video will get blocked if i do that so what i'm going to do is courtesy of uh sir ben that's uh asic Q, we won't even try to repronounce that last name. I am going to check out Oculus X Inferni and set the world on fire together. It looks like he did the songs back to back. I've only got one song in. I enjoyed it. So if I'm wrong on this, this is not my fault. Go after uh, Serbin here. So Sebastian Salamaki asked me to set or check set the world out on fire. So, Sebastian, sorry that I'm really scared to check it out directly from the web page uh, their, or their YouTube uh, page. I will after this and then comment in the comment section why I thought, you know, if it's different than this, I will make a comment to you and tell you why I thought. But I'm going to give you a two in one here. So, thanks to Sir Ben Natsasiku. So, we are going to get Symphony X's Oculus X Inferni and set the world on fire. A lot, a lie of lies. Let's go, guys. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, quite different than my first start of that. Nice. I'm going to quickly pull up the lyrics here. an instrumental. Okay, I'm going to stop right here, right off the bat. Really, really loving this. Okay, so I just tried pulling up the lyrics for this one. I'm going to have to set, uh, type in Set the World on Fire next to see if this is going to be another instrumental or if I'm going to actually get lyrics uh, for that song. Either way, I don't care. So far, as an instr instrumental piece here, I'm really loving this. Really loving this. It's got a... Uh, I'm looking on the cover here. <clears throat> I see Futuristic Fantasy. It kind of looks uh, something like I would see from uh, Warhammer or something. But I feel more of a fan or fantasy vibe uh, or traditional if I was going to be watching stuff like Vikings or a fantasy movie. This is the type of music I would expect to hear. And I really, really, really dig this. So really dig this. Let's keep on going here. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Nice. 
I like how they're bringing the uh, vocals in now with the harmony. Less melody, more harmony. Okay, I'm going to quickly stop here. Let's go back our 10 seconds. <clears throat> oh, wow. Okay, I rarely touch on uh, key signatures in songs just because a lot of the times if they're using any effects or that, it's been so long since I've had to use my ear training and catch, you know, signatures. Except for when they're playing usually in standard tuning or drop D because I play in drop D so it's easier and I play in uh, standard and have a uh, half step uh, tuning. Half step down. So I love Guns N' Roses, so a lot of it's half tuned uh, down from standard. So I pick up more on this. And our last song we checked uh, checked out, Awakenings, was a really nice uh, G uh, key signature. So then we get into a B uh, flat, uh, B minor uh, type of, um, you know, um, what am I looking uh, for? Uh, key signature. So you're getting, uh, so if anyone knows uh, their scales, um, their um, mode scales, so, and understands how to, uh, you know, um, identify which mode uh, is being used and within uh, each mode, depending on which key signature you're starting with, C, G, A, doesn't matter if it's a, uh, a sharp, flat, uh, you know, uh, major or minor. So they all fall in on that 1-7 uh, scale and depending on the 1-7 when you're doing your 1-3-5 or, you know, your 1-3-flat-5, doesn't matter what your, you know, your scale is. I rarely hear anything outside of classical music that is a, I'm, I'm, correct me if I'm wrong, it seems like I've got some good knowledgeable uh, Symphony X fans here. But this is a B uh, flat minor, B, B minor definitely, but it sounds like it's the B flat on the uh, mode uh, scale. So, and I'm really enjoying this after uh, getting something really rocky in the G. So, okay guys, let's go out here, boom, boom, boom. So why is this going on? in a new song or is this still my instrumental? Set, set the world on fire. Lyrics. This is said uh, they're all on fire, eh? Hey, yeah, that's Canadian, eh? I don't think I said that one too much uh, on here. Wow. 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 So what a change of tempo. What a change of pace. We switch out of uh, key signatures uh, from a... I'm, I'm definitely... I know I got myself a B minor, the last one. I'm just still on a debate if it's a B flat minor. So going into an A signature, following your circle of fifths, perfectly, perfectly composed and sliding in from one key signature to the next and the beats that per minute just slightly increasing near the end and 
ramping you right up about another 20 or so uh, beats. I'd have to sit back here and count it. And if you see me counting, that's what I'm doing. So in my head, I'm trying to count the beats per. So yeah, this, thank you very much, uh, Sebastian, for this, um, this suggestion. Oh, 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 wrong button. For some reason, my pause keyboard is not working. Everything else is, but my pause is not working. Okay, I'm going to stop right here. Uh, this part coming in when we get to the uh, 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 verse sections. Is it only me or does this have like a Master of Puppets uh, album uh, vibe in this area right here? I can definitely hear this being played by Metallica off the Master's album. And I can hear this being sang uh, by James. And this is no knock. That, that is good. So one, <clears throat> one of my all-time favorite albums. And I've heard bands have a similar sound at times. So sometimes playing homage, sometimes, you know, just trying to rip it off and they've done lousy jobs, you know, of it. I'm hearing uh, reflections of uh, early Metallica and Masters, which is kind of funny because it's going to be one of my next reacts. Uh, I, a symphony of uh, I've never seen a newer uh, performance I've yet to see. And my buddy told me, you got to check it out. You haven't seen it. You got to check it out. So I'm going to react to it. But this is awesome. That it's giving me that vibe. I love when I get that vibe and that. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Let's hit the J because the J is working. Ah, the boss decided to work. I'm oh, the nice. master of illusion, master of sin, to face snake with its shadowy skin. Okay, it's not just the vocals, it's the drum and the double kick, and now he double kicks very reminiscent of ours. I elevate you with all my might, I will take you. Oh, that was a good release. Let you know what I do, lad, you got a good command. Okay, I'm going to stop one more time, and that's it. I want to get through the rest of the song because I'm really enjoying it, and I don't want to be stopping it here. Lyrically, I've stopped reading on the lyrics. We're starting to get into repeat lyrics, and I'm actually able to sing to the chorus, so that is good lyric writing. Not overly complicated lyric writing, good content to the lyrics. So I'm a lyric-based person, so is Ava. I I'm a writer. I do actually have writing out there, you know, over 500 pieces that you guys can all look at. I'm not suggesting you do, but I'm just saying. That's how lyric-based I am, is I write and I've got work out there. So, and I'm liking what he's done with the uh, lyrics. I, I'll go with lyric. I, I like what he's done with the lyrics. He's giving me a good content for uh, the lyrics. He doesn't try to add way too much more and continue it on uh, like you see other bands do. He goes right back and just starts repeating. And he hooks you in with the chorus. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me, guys. He hooks you into the chorus. When I'm on the third way through the chorus into the song and I'm able to sing the chorus and know it, so you know you've got some good songwriting here. Just wanted to put that in. I rarely have commented on how good songwriting is in my React videos. And this is some really good songwriting. All right, let's go back and finish this off. Boom, boom, boom. Fly with me through scorching skies. You and I will lie on Oh, here's our solo. First 
complaint. Okay, first complaint. Let's go back 10 seconds. Solo, a few complaints. Or two complaints, one compliment. Two complaints. Solo, too short. Just way too short. Singer comes in as the solo is ending. I do not like that. I do not like that at all. Singer has his time to shine. Let the guitar player, you know, now finish his solo, do his solo. I don't like uh, how they mix that in on the album. I won't lie. They should have just let the solo go the last uh, two measures of that, of that bar and then brought the vocalist in. I will not lie. did not like that whatsoever. I was just thinking how much I'm enjoying this solo, how much, it, you know, I'm a really nice solo. And then he starts coming in. I'm thinking he's going to continue singing over the rest of the solo. And the solo ends, actually. It just goes right into the uh, bridge, getting you ready to come in to the next part. I didn't like that, actually. <clears throat> there was no resolve. It was cool what they did there, and they would have been cool if the vocalist never came in, and it was a bit longer of a solo, even as short as it is. It would have been cool if he would have went in without resolving into the bridge, and then the vocalist joined in. That would have actually been really spot-on, cool, and very nice. <clears throat> didn't do that, and I'm actually, I won't lie, I'm disappointed on that one, hearing where they've gone here now. That kind of disappointed me that they didn't go that route because one, you took away from your guitar solo and you're the singer dude. So you've got your time to shine the whole song. Let your guitar solo or guitars have a time to shine in his solo. My view. So my view. So I love the keys accompany or accompanying the uh, guitar solo as loud as they are. Usually I would complain about that and say they needed to mix the uh, keyboards down uh, further and lower the volume and let the uh, solo come out more. But I think the keyboards actually comp complemented how the solo was coming out with the uh, pedal effect, you know, uh, what he's using. Uh, he's not just using straight up distortion. He's got, I'm trying to uh, pick up what other uh, pedal he might be using uh, along with uh, overdrive and distortion, or he's got some uh, two different overdrive pedals going on at the same time. Not going to focus on that. So at least uh, unless you guys want me to, or you want to tell me. But I do like how the keys came over and complemented that at the volume that they did. Still do not like the solo was shortened with the vocals coming in and it didn't resolve and just went right into the bridge. Would have been awesome if it didn't resolve and went right into the bridge and then added the vocals in. That would have been fucking awesome, to be honest. Okay, I went back 10 seconds. Let's finish the song off, guys. Boom, boom, boom. Don't leave me. Okay, more solo. Nice, nice, nice. Nice to send on the second guitar. I'm going to retract in a comment. I'm retracting a comment. Yes! Yes, yes! Okay, I'm retracting my comment. I'm retracting my comment. I don't do this often. Mark this on the record books, guys. We did not get a solo earlier. We got a pre-solo going into the bridge. Now that I understand what he did here, my comment is struck and off the record. Go back, delete your comments, pull it back. I'm retracting my comment. We just got our solo and it's everything and more that I was expecting here in a solo coming up. We just got fooled. We got toolified. Yes, tool fans all understand that. We got toolified. So into thinking this was going to be our solo and it wasn't. This now going back and knowing that was brilliance earlier. Brilliance now. I retract my comment. That was brilliance. Pre-solo, going into the bridge without resolving with the vocals already leading in. 
that as a sound uh, with some uh, sound engineering background here. So I'm doing some award shows uh, locally uh, for, uh, you know, uh, back east. I can appreciate a lot more what they did. That I'm no longer upset. I'm no longer disappointed. In fact, after this react, I'm going back and listening to this and appreciating it for what they just did there with putting the solo in when they did now afterwards. And what a effing solo. And the second guitar player, the uh, descending uh, chords he's uh, playing uh, there, uh, uh, four chords as he's going down, the four uh, chords. Oh, that was just nice and behind the solo. Nice, nice, nice. Retract my uh, earlier comment, delete your comments, or say, sorry, saw you said it, because I retracted it. Oh, why aren't we... There we go. Oh, I keep on hitting the end button. Yeah, near the end. That's another little fill. Nice. Oh, nice closing fill on the fade out. Nice closing fill by the drummer on the fade out. Oh, okay. This band is going to be a treat for me coming up. I think I've got this band figured out in a composition aspect. So in three songs, I've gotten three different key signatures starting songs out and in this combo of a song we started in uh, the b flat uh, minor b minor i'm still out on the uh, fence of it's the flat you guys can correct me on this one and then we go into the uh, a key uh, signature these guys use their circle of fifths so because i'm trying to remember they end up uh, changing shortly for a key signature in the last song awakenings we did before uh, coming back into the same signature moving back in but they write with a circle of fifths uh, in mind you could if you could see the circle of fifths in your head and as you're listening to the uh, key changes uh, that happened here so you can see where they went on here and where they were following so how they arranged the song for um set the world on fire I was too applied. I retract that comment. So I was actually very disappointed on a short solo being taken over by a vocal without resolving into a bridge the way they did it. And then when I hear them actually do the solo and actually have to go back and see what they did, that was really, really nice. Actually, that was very good. I'm not sure if that was the band who thought of that on their own, if that was the uh, producer who had something in his head he wanted to hear from that band, and his sound engineer, you know, uh, got it, you know, as they were doing the uh, mixing on there. It was just very good, very nice. Very, I retract that comment. All in all, we will be seeing a lot more Symphony X over the next few months uh, coming. So, because I want to check out a lot more uh, Sebastian. Thank you very much for uh, suggesting that I check out Set the World on Fire. I'm glad I found Oculus and Inferni on here uh, included into it. So I'm not sure if this is supposed to be or not. You uh, can let me know. Uh, but this was a great, if it wasn't, and this is a two song into one. This was a nice, uh, this is how the album has it. Very nicely done. Very nicely tracked. Very nicely tracked. If you like this video, please give us that thumbs up. It sure as uh, hell helps. Make sure you click that little subscribe button and hit the uh, little notification on the side. Uh, get up our uh, daily uploads. So, and until then, that's the Sleeping Cool Kids. Still sleeping. The Lame Dad saying, peace out.